My father is a wonderful, loving, caring, generous, um, selfless man. That's the way he's always been. That's the way I remember him from my earliest memories. He's just a really engaging, kind, and considerate, and he's very hardworking, and he really has the best interest of the university in mind. The best thing I can say about Lloyd is for 40 years he's been a friend, and for 40 years he's influenced how I feel about higher education and certainly about the university. I think it's probably the most prestigious award at the university, one that is given to only those people that have shown the deepest commitment for the university, for higher education, and for its students. He will be surprised. He'll be pleasantly surprised, I'm sure. And, you know, I think he may be modest enough that he might say, well, why me? Why not someone else? But uh, he's well-deserving of the award. He's a very humble guy. He believes in his heart that, that he is but a small piece of what happens. He doesn't realize how he has impacted and influenced others. Lloyd has been a, a good friend of mine. Uh, I met him at Boeing. I'd always considered myself a cougar and, until I met Lloyd, and, and he took it to a whole new level. Being a coug is in his blood. I think he was born with it in his blood because he's all about WSU. I know that my dad will spend every moment that he can getting over there, going to the basketball games, going to the football games, um, being a part of anything that is happening with the foundation. He is, he's ready to get up and go at the drop of a hat. My daughter was thinking about going to the veterinary program there at WSU, and so my dad was um, so excited. He wanted to go with us, and we were able to go to a football game there, and it was scorching hot, and we were sitting in the end zone, and my daughter and I were dying to go get some water and shade, and he just had to sit there for the whole game. He was sweating like crazy, and he knew every cheer. He knew all of the songs. It was kind of embarrassing, actually, but, but it was cute, too, because, you know, that's how into it he is. My father was born in Sandpoint, Idaho. We knew our, all of our grandparents growing up, and that was a wonderful thing, because so now I know the type of people that he was raised by, and they were very caring, loving people. They were a lot of fun, too. After he graduated from high school, went on to go to, to college at Washington State University, majoring in mathematics. He was very active in the band, and that is where he met my mother. And I think they got married when he was a junior. My eldest brother was born the year he graduated. I remember having the fight songs playing on the uh, record player at home. I remember the, the album. It was a great big burgundy colored album. And we all grew up listening to my mom and dad sing the fight songs every day. You know, my dad is a cougar. My mom was a cougar. Let me just say that our family grew up calling ourselves cougar cubs. He is so proud of the college that he went to. He's proud of everybody that goes there now. The students that he works with, the foundation program that he has been very much a part of. When my mom passed away quite suddenly, he was very active in getting a foundation scholarship set up on the education side of it because my mom majored in education. That was one of the things that he wanted to do in her memory was to set that up. There's something special about Pullman. Lloyd told me once, when you drive down that hill, you're coming home, and you are. And uh, I think he just never forgot that. I think he was always really appreciative of both of the education that he got here, as well as all of the other experiences that, that come with a WSU education. And I think all of those things together, when you put it together, was an experience that really affected his life and, and formed a foundation for him and the foundation for his commitment to WSU. There's certain individuals that really um, give back in terms of their time and their talent and even their resources 
And I, I just think this is in his nature to be that kind of a, an individual. He's been a very strong supporter for the college and advocate for the college. He's helped really establish relationships with Boeing. Over the years, he's supported the College of Education. He's supported the Voiland College. He's supported the College of Sciences. I believe he supported the marching band. And so he's just been a very critical um, and special volunteer. Lloyd, first and foremost, was involved with the trustees. Later, and the thing that really appealed to me about him is he represented the Cougar Nation inside the Boeing Company, and he saw what the needs were for Boeing in terms of sponsoring activities at WSU for the benefit of Boeing employees and for the benefit of the institution. He came to me with the idea that what we needed was a Boeing Scholars Program that would bring benefit to the students but also to the company and the university. And his idea was a collaborative educational program that bought, brought the College of Business, the College of Sciences, and the College of Engineering together. And in the university structure, that was a pretty bold step. The Boeing Scholars Program has really been an important uh, signature program for our college and for the university. The Boeing Scholars Program was a program that was conceived as something that was more than just simply scholarships for students. He wanted to give the students certain kinds of experiences that they wouldn't have otherwise. A scholarship, a very generous one I might add, uh, was given to students, but one of the expectations of this is that they would work on senior design projects that were essentially developed by Boeing. These are real projects that they had. But when the students see something like this and they, they see that their work is of interest, it really brings a light on. And I think one of the best things about the program is that the result, if it's done right, is that the students come out with a sense that they actually can make a contribution. And I think that fulfills the dream, the vision of what this program was supposed to do. We've learned a lot. The students come out with a sense of success. Boeing has actually had several things come uh, to them, ideas come to them that they're still using. And I think everybody's a winner in this. And I was really honored to work with him in bringing that program to fruition. And it's now been endowed, so it's a permanent program at WSU, and it was a breakthrough. At first, we were told it couldn't be done, but in the end, it could be, and it's now a model, I think, for what happens in higher education across the country. Lloyd, you have earned this award in so very many ways, but I think what the larger population may not know is the influence your actions have had on people like myself and hundreds of others in this institution that look at you and say if Lloyd can do it, so can we. We collectively can make a difference for this university and for the young people that are students there today and those that will come tomorrow. Thank you. Pop, I am so proud of you. I love you so much. Thank you for everything that you've done for us and um, I hope that you feel good about everything that you've done for Washington State. You deserve this. We have spent a lot of hours together working on a number of projects, including the Boeing Scholars Program and some of the other things that you've done over the years with the Computer Science Program and the Electrical Engineering Program. I've really appreciated what you've done uh, for the university, and you've done yeoman service for that. Congratulations on winning this award. Daddy, I have watched you spend so much time and energy that you deserve this more than anybody else that I can think of. And I am so proud of you and happy for you, and I love you very much. <laughs>